and it was making my heart fucking sore. I was having a shit time, and each one I went down further and further in a wormhole. And so I, um, I just got in contact with him, and I sent him a message, and I just said, hey, bro, this is just a random piece of love. Um, you're fucking excellent. Thank you, and keep doing what you do. And um, he wrote back, and then I said, can we chat to you on my radio show? He said, sure. And then um, we chatted to him on my radio show, and uh, I said, have you ever thought about doing stand-up? And he said, oh, yeah, maybe. And then sent me a message, and he's like, I'm up for it if you're up for it. <laughs> <laughs> this man, I love. He's never done stand-up before. He's here um, to open the show. <laughs> Usually when you do your first gig, I remember mine. I, I walked um, backstage to a comedy room. There was about 12 people in the crowd, and I pulled the curtain back to go backstage, and there was two comedians smoking, and one of them just looked at me and went, are you the new kid? And I said, yeah, and the other one goes, you're fucking shit. <laughs> um, so this is not a normal um, first gig, but like I said, I am, um, I love this man and I, I think it's going to be great. His opening words, you may recognise, you may have seen his videos um, before. I'm not going to say them because I'm not going to ruin the joy for you. Um, he's just here to perform for a little bit before we get stuck in the show. Um, I'm going to ask of you, please give him the warmest welcome ever. Can you please start clapping your hands? It was a big fucking tree, so fucking Pat was telling Tate where to reverse the caravan, which he did, 
did it. He was fucking told like a good fucking husband, cunts. <laughs> and then he unhitched and then tried to pull the awning, that fucking side awning out. But it was a big fucking branch. No, nah, the awning wouldn't come out. And then I heard all fucking weekend, who's fucking what? Whose fault was it? Was it Pat? Or was it Tate's fault? Well, and then they'd fucking turn up for Patonk in the afternoon and the fucking scoring pencil had come out and they're on the fucking patch she's like in her 70s she got onto the fucking Bundaberg run <laughs> oh, oh, fucking, you can't make this stuff up and then Saturday morning <laughs> fucking Lois and Dick turned up well, and they were over the way I was fucking full of time now to make the sandwich and fucking Lois and Dick all I heard Lois carry on about was about she wanted to get the fucking queen size bed in their caravan changed into two fucking singles because Dick's fucking CPAP machine was too fucking noisy. Like Lois, you need to send him to BCF to get a fucking tent and go like fucking 100 metres up that way. You can't make this stuff up. But anyway, my first fucking night on the stage, fucking Tommy Little, fucking invited me here and I appreciate that. <laughs> so God bless you Tommy and this one's just for you. Rapidly aging fuckboy cock. <laughs> no, I can't love you. <laughs>